Oh, but this Harlem-born actor is a national treasure mm -hmm. with a career spanning decades. And guess what? With a career like that, there's a documentary now that shows just why he's a living, living legend. I remember Cooley High came out, and then I remember going one day to Mons, and there's this commotion, and I go to the door, and the halls are just jammed with people. So that's when I knew something had changed. I'm not in it for the money. I'm paid to wait, and I act for free. It's the work that attracts me. I only like, at this point, working with people who are serious about the business. Even that voice is iconic. Yeah. <laughs> that is from the legend of Glenn Turman. The yeah. film will make its New York premiere for the New Federal Theater's Black History Month celebration. And joining us is the man of the hour, actor, producer, director, writer, and of course, New York's very own Mr. Glenn Turman. Yeah. Good morning, yeah. sir. Yeah. What an introduction. Welcome, My God. Thank it's you. An Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's an honor. It truly is. Good to I be like back that in New York. quote. Paid to wait, mm -hmm. yeah, acting is free. free. Yes. Uh, a documentary about your life, right? So if, when, yeah. when filmmaker Junie Smith kind of came up to you and said, hey, I want to make this film about mm -hmm. your life, what'd you think? I told him, go away. <laughs> no, no, not, that's not going to happen. How did he, he finally he, convince he was, you? He convinced me by letting me know, as we were just talking about my kids, our children. Yes. And I finally realized, that he said, you know, you need to leave something for your kids mm. in your words. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, okay, you're right. I'll do it for that reason. That's and amazing. There, there it is. Give him a legacy, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, so first off, let's talk about this. You're, you, we know you're a great interviewer because we had you on the show before. Mm -hmm. But what's it like being interviewed, not like in this setting, but for a film or a documentary about you talking solely about yourself? Uh, boring. <laughs> to you. <laughs> to me. Right. To you. <laughs> but... Uh, but uh, Junie, you know, had it scripted and planned out as to what topics he wanted to cover, you know. And uh, I guess he didn't get tired of hearing my stories, you know. And uh, these are stories that I've been telling for forever, you know. Yeah. And and so uh, it was a different a different uh, take on on me, yeah. you know. Yeah. With it obviously being Black History Month and just watching some of the footage, we are literally getting a history lesson through your story. Yeah. And as we reflect on pivotal figures and movies and beyond, you are absolutely one mm. of them. So it's great to see you getting your flowers well, you. in this way. Um, of course, there is a special screening of the documentary at Riverside Church. That is tomorrow and Thursday. As people come and intake this film, what do you want them to walk away with? Well, I really wanted to leave a, a, a little edumacation, mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, just in terms of, you know, I have been blessed to have been in the business for a long time, and how does one survive in this? Mm -hmm. What are the young people coming up in the business yeah. now looking forward to, and what do they think the business is about, and what curves does the business throw, and how do you survive those curves? Right. You know, I've been doing this 65, 64 yeah. years, and so you figure, how do you, how do you survive, how did that happen? And I don't re really know, because some of it is, is kismet, mm -hmm. you know, some of it is, is knowledge, and a lot of it is just bumping your head, mm -hmm. you know? But all of the one thing that has always been the, 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 the glue that held it together is I just love doing what I'm doing, yeah. you know, and that has not changed, you yeah. know, and that I think is uh, a key ingredient. Yeah, I think people can listen to you talk for hours. Listen. So, so listen, what is, um, I guess, for you, the start of it all? What was the, the moment you remember that you said, okay, I'm act I want to be an actor and I'm doing this? Well, I'll tell you, you know, I started at, the, it's hard because I started at the top. I started in the original production of A Raisin in the Sun mm -hmm. on Broadway. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to be an actor at that time, okay. necessarily. And then I got to high school, the high school performing arts, and I got an A in class. It was the first A I ever brought home to my mom. Yeah. And it was in acting, you know. And I said, Mom, look, I got an A. Mm -hmm. You know, and she, I said, I can do this. I, yeah. I think maybe I'll be an actor, you know. Yeah. And she says, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> About time, you know, and so that was the turning point. Of course, I never got another job after that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> at a, at out, a right? young age, you found your groove, which is yeah. a blessing yeah. because some people it takes it takes a little bit of time. Yeah. Um, let's talk about Broadway. Yeah. When are we going to see you on Broadway next? Is that something you would like to do? 
Yeah. I'd love Next. to go back to Broadway. Back I haven't been there in quite some time. The last time was actually Ron Milsner's play mm -hmm. with the wine cellars by at Lincoln Center mm -hmm. some years ago. Uh, but we're working on it. Mm -hmm. We're working on it. We got we got our, our eyes open and, yes. and there's offers coming in. Uh, good. Uh, by the way, Racing in the Sun, you didn't want to be in the show, so how'd you get in the show? Oh, you got to see the documentary. Okay. Yeah, okay. No, you got to <laughs> get to see the documentary. Okay. <laughs> these are just the wheels are spinning in my head right now. Yeah, so right. I watch it. But, you know, you've also been keeping busy. You're busy for decades, right? And you can be seen next in 80 for Brady. Oh, which is yeah. hitting big screens on Friday. Now, we know what it's about, but for folks who may not know, oh give us a little gosh. recap. Four women who decide, four, four women who are in their 80s <laughs> who decide to go see the, the, the big uh, uh, Super Bowl game with Tom Brady. And they're Tom Brady fans, and they make this trek uh, to, to see the, 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 the uh, game. Yeah. And the, the mischief that they get into. And these women, I'm talking, I've had a ball. We had such... A ball playing with this yeah. lovely, beautiful lady. Uh, yeah, I can't yeah. tell you how much fun we had uh, together doing this movie. They're, they're wonderful. And he just retired yeah. again yeah. today. Well, big announcement. Do, do you, do you oh, no. think this what? is it? Oh, he's just breaking news. I didn't know. He, he put it out today. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> okay, see? That's a lot of folks said to me. Right? Yeah, sure. You did. think he's not done sure, sure after did. 23 seasons? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, Mr. Turman, such a pleasure. <laughs> such pleasure a pleasure. Having always you here. a pleasure. Good, thank you. Oh, thank it, was, you. it was an honor and a pleasure. And of course, as we mentioned earlier, the documentary about his incredible life, The Legend of Glenn Turman, can be seen tomorrow night at Riverside Theater, at Riverside Church. There will be a talk back with the man himself, Mr. Turman, and of course, Junie Smith. Oh, that's thank awesome. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.